Hey guys, Antrenum here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, we're going to be doing another episode of Seeds Showcase. But unlike the last couple of seeds that I reviewed, this one is actually a really easy seed to remember. It is Nether, with a capital N. And uh, the big advantage about this seed is really not what is above ground, even though you do end up spawning right near a, uh, you know, an NPC village. And apparently where there are, like, billions and billions of cows that spawn outside of it. So if you ever wanted a land with which that you could kill a whole ton of cows in, then here you go. Because, I mean, you know, you can do just that with this seed. And yeah, look how, look how many cows there are. This isn't like an NPC village, this is a cow village. Like, are, are there cows inside of the houses? No, okay, so there are testificates here. Like, are you guys like farming these things? Like, just, you know, just to prank me or something? I, I think you are, you, you, you can die now, okay? Okay. But anyways, the real beauty of the seed really is not what is on the outside. It's rather what is on the inside underground. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to launch right into it here. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see something else that's really cool as well, I'm not going to show it in this video. But there is a really cool structure that is off in the distance that way. But it's not something that is really that noteworthy for the video itself. But anyways, so... What you're going to find in this seed are a lot of interconnected ravines and as well a really good cave system that splits between a few of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to rip right through this here. So just try and count with me how many ravines end up getting connect connected together here. So this is one ravine. And then there's two ravines. Now, when you get to the end of this ravine, it may feel like like you've got you've gotten to the end of all of it. But if you end up turning around here, you know, when you get to the very end, you see a third ravine that connects through all of this. And then you get a really nice water uh, lava flow here. And it connects into a very vast cave system, which I'm going to explore here a little bit. Because it's going to connect to the rest of the, of the ravines that I'm going to end up showing you guys here today. So yeah, as I said before, the last ravine is over there. It looks like there's some other lava that's pouring. No, no, okay, that was just my imagination. I thought I saw the lighting change within that. But going through this cave system here, if we come out through this way, and then travel through all of this here, we get ourselves to ravine number four. Now, this really is like the cream de la crop of ravines. Like, if you look at this here, this ravine splits right into another ravine that's right next to it, which has an NPC mine cutting through the entire thing, like... Seriously with this entire thing this is this is crazy this this is absolutely crazy And if you guys are too lazy to search through the ravines themselves here are the coordinates for you And the seed may say a number, but if you type in nether with a capital N, it'll work just fine So that's the coordinates that you can have for this right here And yeah, I'm not sure if there's any more ravines that connect through this though I'm honestly like I honestly don't think so But I mean if there are then that would just make the seed that much better, but it's really quite amazing like seriously I mean, there's not a whole mo there's not a whole lot more that I can really say about the seed, other than I really highly recommend that you guys check this out for yourself. But I mean, look, look at this. Let me hit F3 here, and you see that my head level is at 63, which is at ground level. Now I can dip all the way down to let's just see what's the lowest level here. All the way down to level 15, which is actually the level in which diamonds can be found at. Or at least one of the levels that diamonds can be found at. So, yeah. I mean, speaking of diamonds, there you go. There's a couple diamonds right here for you. So, diamonds to you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I highly recommend you guys check out the seed. Because that's, that's sort of what this whole show is about, right? Me showing you seeds that I think are impressive. And excuse any background noise that has been in this episode, my water heater is going absolutely ape because it's like 5 degrees outside. Oh, the wonders of living in Maine. But yeah, anyways guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it was quite a short one, but I mean, I've pretty much shown you everything that I wanted to show you all throughout the seed. Um, what else can I talk about in this video to perhaps make it longer? Uh, hmm, I'm not really too sure. Like, I feel like I could add a little bit more substance to this video, or just doing random commentary or something like that. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, I ended up reviewing the, uh, the nostal- what was it? The, the Nostalgia Project mod not too long ago, and I've actually been getting a couple of suggestions from people, uh, requesting that I do old 1.7 seeds. Now, I don't think that I'm gonna end up doing that in this series, uh, you know, just because it would become too confusing, people not knowing, you know, the fact that I'm reviewing a seed that is from 1.7, even though I do have the videos organized into a show playlist, which is split between different seasons, and the seasons are split between what version of Minecraft 
draft it was reviewed under. Like if you notice with this video, it says season 1.0.0 because the seed is for 1.0.0. So that's sort of why I ended up doing that split. And it works really well because uh, for, you know, for people who are curious as to what version a seed was reviewed in, or at least what it's compatible with, it'll tell you, you know, within that. Wow, there are a lot of cave spiders here. But fortunately, they cannot kill me right now. Come at me, cave spiders, because I'm invincible. <laughs> so your your actions would be extremely futile. But yeah. Anyway, whoa. Okay, viewing glitch for the win. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much everything that I'm going to cover in this video, guys. And I hope you all have enjoyed this particular seed. But anyways, wait, is this another? Okay, I thought there was like another ravine that was cutting into all of this. Um, oh, I've tried to do my outro like three times now, but it's not working. But yeah, anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.